Hey guys, Lumis Gamer here, and welcome to the another episode of a story about my uncle. I found another one of Fred's campsite, noticeably newer than the others. The fire was still smoldering, and I could faintly pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used. Okay, we already did this part. Wait, he said this before in the last I episode. I could feel it. So he had I left some tools behind that I could use to repair my boots. Okay, as I was saying before, this man just rudely interrupted. This might be the ending of the game. I have no idea how close we are to the ending, but I have a feeling it's coming to a close that because we're getting it. close. Good as new. Rocket boots. All right. So much to explore still, but that's the adventure. <gasps> no! Go back up. Oh, thank God. I almost messed that up. Oh, woo! All right. Next one is this one. Come on, please, 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 please. You know what, can I do a little glitchy glitch? No? Oh, I had the crystal there. I don't know why I didn't hit that. And here we are, back at the start. Okay, this is going to be a little difficult. Is that what I'm supposed to do? You know what, I'm a... Ignore the game actual system for this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just go on top of the ice crystals. This is a much more efficient way of getting through this. Almost messed that up. <laughs> that would have been bad. Alright, now where do we go? Alright, so there's a spawn point here. Another flare? Did not mean to use my rocket boots. Why won't that work? I'm, not so, I'm supposed to shoot the crystals! And they're supposed to give me back my recharge! Alright, here we go. Now we rocket boots over here. There we go. Thank you. Buried beneath the ice. So much. You could still see signs of what this place had once been. Something not unlike the caves where the village lay. The ice age must have come suddenly, washing over it like a freezing tsunami. Now it lay desolated, haunting anyone who dared visit with falling stalactites, sharp icicles, and its bottomless depths. I wasn't gonna make that. That's such a long fall. All right, so I'm supposed to go up here. Now you let me shoot you. I think I'm supposed to have an extra shot to do it. There we go. So I'm ha I'm supposed to have like an additional shot to do so. That's good to know. All right. Um down here. And landed it. Now where else do we go? I believe over here. A glider? Okay. We found his Frank's glider. I guess. That's what he was using. Oh, look at that. Why is it getting suddenly really red over there? All right. Um Mm. 
please. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, next checkpoint. Further ado. Here we go. Next one. Rocket boots over here. We're safe. I almost messed that up. I wasted all my shots on that. I probably shouldn't have, but it's alright. Made up for it. I'm getting really good at this. Alright, where to now? Oh, please. Oh, thank goodness. Fred had come this way alone, too. I took some comfort in knowing that whatever problems I face now, Fred would have faced them, too. And beaten them. If he could do it, I could do it, too. Okay. Frank sounds like a boss to me. So do I go this way, or do I go this way? There's two ways. Let's go this way. This way looks a lot cooler. <gasps> no, it keeps me out my game. Why you do this? Why you do this? Go back. Resume. I wonder why my bandit cam does that. Thought I heard something. Thank you. Thought I was done with those typewriters. Guess not. So there's two paths I could have taken. I took the other one. So. Frank better not be dead by the end of this. Because I didn't travel all the way over here just to find Frank dead. And landed it. Where am I even going to? Oh, I see now. All right. Here we go. Habuski. Get that. Boom. Bobbity bop. No, I missed the crystal. It's not what I wanted. It's a pretty cool hidden secret that they put there, though. Yet they make it to where you have to find it, and that's pretty cool in a game, in my opinion. I like it when they have to make you figure it out. Gets your brain working. Save my other one so that I could do this. There we go. Look at that! First try! The other try doesn't count because I didn't know where I was going. Here we go. We finally made it. That's good. Here's Frank's flare. It was Whoa. dark all around me, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. What are we going to find? Um, is this a cutscene? New area? <gasps> it's Frank! <gasps> Frank! Hey, buddy. What's up, Uncle Frank? Nephew. Uncle Fred. I finally oh, found Oh, it's Fred. <laughs> I call My little Frank. boy. I'm glad to see no. you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. 
But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop and that I came looking for him. His name's Fred. I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? Yes, with the I mosquitoes. I sent them here by accident, and I had to follow. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I have conducted research on them and documented everything about them. I probably should be following him. Crystal powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, show them how fantastic this all is. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie. How we came all the way to Starhaven together, and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. My little Maddie. Did you forget about her already? I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. And I left her. You're creeping me out, dude. I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. So why am I so much shorter than you? I've not that tall, am I? Mind. I'm not going home. What? What does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. Frank, I mean Fred! It's just um. well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Actually, I don't mind going Explore home. Explore the world on your own. Those Have frogs. Your own adventures. Those frogs are creeping I me out, dude. Reluctantly agreed to go home. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. We'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. When you're ready. Okay. First of all. I'm actually kind of glad I'm leaving because uh, the frog people were people were kind of creeping me out. Um, also, I didn't really get to know you all too well, uh, Uncle Frank. I mean Fred. Um, sorry. So, peace out, dog. I'm out. Peace. Get me out of here. See you later, Mister Uncle Uncle Frank Fred, whatever your name is. Woo! Whoa. Well, there it is. A story about my uncle. This game, I can say for sure, is a very, very interesting game. And me personally, I liked what the creators of this game put into it, the parkour, the awesomeness that they put into this, the efforts they did. I thought it was pretty cool. The ending, kind of all too much, was probably all squished in all too much, trying to fit it in. I guess, in a way. But, you know, this game's a game. It's pretty old. It was three years old, four years old as of right now, actually. So, yeah, this was a bad game. So, playtesters. A lot of people with Russian names in them. Oh, French and German. Okay, that makes sense. Um,. By the way, those watching, I apologize for calling him Frank the whole time. Uh, I didn't realize that his name was Frank, and I kept calling him... I mean, his name was Fred. I, I'm, I keep thinking it's still Frank. His name is Fred. I kept calling him Frank. My bad on that. Coffee Stain Studios, thanks for all the help realizing this game. To our friends, family, and loved ones, thank you all for the support during this time. And, of course, you. Thank you, game! I feel needed now because of this game. It inspired me. Even though it only said you. Okay. The end. Now, good night, sweetie. Wait, Dad. Does that mean Fred is still there? Yes. Who knows? That was the last time I saw him. Don't you miss him? I do, sometimes. But I don't worry about him. Because I know that wherever he is, he's on his biggest adventure yet. Yes, with big-eyed Maddie. Oh, it's not over yet. Dear Fred, today 
I step into the lobby of your house for the last time. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure, and I came to think of you. Your house looks just like my mother and I left it years ago. After you'd gone, I was sure she was going to throw out all your stuff, but she just cleaned up. We made you a small memorial. Yeah, I see that. Watch Fred be like standing right around the corner. I For swear. For a while, I came here every day, just like I used to. Sometimes, I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory, asking Whoa. me to get you this tool or that. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Yeah, no one would believe you if you went to Can a whole different it? world. After all these years. Couldn't I go bed back? Not bed. Back any time though? Because I have my own launch pad here. Oh. That's probably why. Probably broke when we launched the first time. Look at that beautiful moon. Aww. Dear Fred. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. Thank you, game. Uncle Fred, thanks to you, I have found an even greater adventure. Thank you. Love, your nephew. Aw, that's adorable. I kind of feel like this game was dedicated to someone. Well, there it is. Story about my uncle. That's the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button below. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button below. And remember, game's not a crime. See you guys in the next video. Peace.